Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogboat333, and welcome back to the All-Russian Government of the Far East. Now, in the last video, we started doing some, uh, couple things of all population, or at least I, I think that was last video. I'll be honest, I'm... It, it, it's been a while since I've recorded this. It's a little bit of a blur, but we're gonna go ahead, catch up with what we, uh what we lost out off, and we're gonna go ahead and work the blood. All policies are weird out the weakest have been successful. There, there has developed a certain dearth of available workers because of it. Not to worry, but there's a position Stetkov, who claims to have already come up with a solution that would not only fix our lack of industrial workers, but wouldn't cost us a dime extra. The individuals who currently populate our hard labor camps, the ones who are the least dire of our political prisoners, most dire of our dissidents, are a well of manpower just waiting to be camped, tapped. Currently they're relegated to civilian industries at best, typically forced, being forced to mine, build infrastructure, depending on how comfortable, comfortable an assignment they get, to work in civilian industries. If our camps are overflowing with prisoners and not enough civilian jobs for them to do, why can't they just work to build us guns and ammunition? They don't need pay, and only the most cur cursory of instruction would be required for them to start building weapons of war. Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna go well. Um, I think we're still waiting to get anti-air before I, uh, touch on anything. Well, the French Resistance is, uh, putting up an okay fight. Got French Revolutionaries here as well. But we'll see how well they end up doing. interesting there. Looks like the French state is probably going to end up collapsing soonish. We'll go ahead and build some hospitals. Where are they needed exactly? Cheetah? We can build a hospital in Cheetah. Probably one Magan on after. Yeah. There we go. As long as some more convoys. I have to wait a while to sell some more. Boop! Better industrial equipment. Lovely. You do love to see it. Um, we could do a new economy, but I think we'll go ahead and do this one. There's no greater villain in Russia in the world, world today than the Jew. The Jew intent due his intention on destroying Russia and controlling the world through a shadow government the attempt to impose upon the world's leaders must be stopped. For a visit, we shall never see a fair or just world. Every Jew is an agent of their plan, an instrument of their destruction. It is in their blood and in their brain. That is why we cannot abide by the coexistence of those with pure Russian heritage. They poison our people, act against our government, and are servants of the international Zionist elders. These scheming Jews are at the root of our suffering and the struggles of the world. That's why we must put them on our list. Know who they are and prepare to take action against them. Sure. I guess we'll do that. Uh, meanwhile. Um, let's see what's going on in my life. I'm starting school tomorrow again. That's uh, my uh, winter semester. is or My winter break is coming to an end. And I'm going back to school. Gonna miss, I, I've missed it, to be honest. Having a break that was this long was nice. But at the same time... I would like to uh, have a chance to get back into things. Yeah. The past decade, the All Russian government has come far. Through years of struggle against the enemies of our party and our people, who have clashed with the communist old Bolshevik regime, raged holy war against the Zelda Siberia, and bes been beset by turncoats who refused to call to form the, f blah, the call to form a stronger Russia. And yet, we are still here. The last of the true have overcome their oppressors and risen to their rightful place as leaders of Siberia. But do not let success dull your perception, for it is a candle in the wind, burning bright in fits and starts. And in darkness lie those who wish to snuff it out. We do not tolerate the 
equity is a Bolshevism, and so the Bolshevik remnants protest and try to bring us down. We do not tolerate parasitism, so the parasites cry out and seek our demise. As our shadow, as the shadow of our stature grows, so grows in the shadows in which the agents of Zionism can scheme against us. Do not fail to be vigilant, for if you fail to spot a traitor, it is as if you have had betrayed the Russian people and enacted the plot yourself. We have come far, but before for the Russian nation is secure, we must go farther. It is the duty of your citizens to be on watch for spies, the false communists to our west, the lying communist, false government to our west, the lying communists, and the scheming Jew, for they can only work against us in the darkness, drag them to light, and expose their crimes. If you see something, say something. Go ahead and deploy these guys. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Let's do the treasonous Bolshevik. We've torn down the institutions and shot every single member of their government that we could get our hands on. Tell me, Boltov, what more can we do? One of the greatest enemies of Russian society among the Jew and the free, alongside the Jew and the Freemason is a Bolshevik. Even after the destruction of their governments in the Far East and the systematic execution of everyone associated with their regime, their some fires still remain, stirring up trouble and sowing discord among our people and our government. These wretched creatures, though many of them speak our language and look like us, are not Russians. They aren't even humans, and we must keep that in mind as we hunt them down like the dogs that they are. Could use some more resources, perhaps. Give us some infrastructure, which I think we do need over there. Yeah, I'll do that. I want to check our economy. Yeah, it's still rising. It's coming along. Um, uh, let's board artillery. <laughs> In our eternal struggle against the wrong-thinking people of our party, the world and the kosher fascists have entered our own party, we must exalt those who create a proper depiction of the rightful state of the world. One where the Russian is free to live in prosperity without fear of the wretches and fiends that steal from his hard-earned wealth. And such a depiction has been created on one of our own, the form of a personal history by the great luminary Mikhail Spasovsky. A fine example of the leaders in the RFP has been pro produced in its stored history. In its extensive recollection of the early days of our organization, he presents the struggle that we went through over the many years in Manchuria. In the light of Great Nair and Swaska, our party grew strong, and when the weakened Bukharanites collapsed in the face of the superior National Socialism, we seized our chance. As the one who led our cause from the third state of exile, I can say that there is no more truthful depiction of our history than Spasovsky's book, The Long Road North. I despise simpering intellectuals, but Soratnik Spadovsky is no such thing. He has created work that I recommend to all Russians who wish to strengthen their knowledge of their heritage. History is written by the victors. Get working on the new rifles, which I think is actually a pretty good idea. Um, we'll recruit... I guess Semyon. Next, let's go ahead... And excise cancer. <clears throat> we have our lists. We know their names. We know where they, we know where they live, where they work, and who they trust. It's time to root out the rot. Simple to the point. Line our hand in the east.
Captain Sasha McKinney, watching his horror as the soldiers of the Russian government descend upon a Buryat village. The captain and his partisans have been fighting against the Mad Vols in a moor since the fall of Buryatia. Ever since the death of Comrade Sabine, the Red Army units under his command did not simply disappear. They kept up the fight in cells all throughout the fascist territory. Sasha and his men had been tracking the group of fascists from the moment they entered Buryatia, preparing to ambush them at the most vulnerable. As far as he knew, none of the remnants of the Red Army had sought shelter in the village below them. The people of the village were innocent, uh, innocent of any collaboration, but they were never something that mattered to Radzewski's dogs. The bastards gathered the men of the village in the central square. The women and children were nowhere to be seen, though they were probably hiding in their homes. Sasha would have called for an attack if he weren't for the numerical inferiority of his forces. The fascists outnumbered them two to one were better equipped besides. As a result, they could only watch as the men were lined up against the walls of a te local temple and shot. When the last man fell to the ground, the soldiers began pulling barrels of fuel out of their trucks. Barrels of oil were poured onto houses and shops as the innocent people within screamed in horror. Anyone who tried to run were shot before they got far. The temple was the last to be ransacked and prepared to burn. When all was ready, the soldiers set fire to every building in the village. Captain Sasha Mikinin Minikin could do nothing but weep as the winds carried the screams of dying to his men. All looked around men all around him. Men wept and wretched the village burned. Sasha looked down at his uniform, at the rank insignia that rested there. With tears in his eyes, he ripped it off the ground, ripped it off and threw it to the ground. He was unfit to wear it. The consequence is of resistance. Fun stuff. Auto save, there we go. Well, uh. It's different, I guess. Cheetah, Irkutsk. What was the other place I was getting infrastructure? A more. I'll max out a more, I think, infrastructure-wise. Yeah. That's actually pretty nice. Do logistics companies. And on we go. Vex size the cancer. We open Kolyama. Remember that Russian forefathers and their forefathers fought and died for our great nation. They worked their hand to the bone to build a better Russia. And here we stand with the likes of you people, the very people who seek to destroy what our ancestors have worked towards. It's time that you pay for your people's actions against our nation. We'll no longer be the ones working until we wither away. Here, where gold and platinum lay just beneath our feet, you'll work to repay the sins of your people. Today, the prison camps in Kolmia have officially reopened, albeit this time under the close supervision of the RFP. Here, Jewish prisoners and other dissidents, especially Bolsheviks, will work absurd hours under incredibly dangerous conditions to pay their debts to Russian society through the extraction of the vast mineral wealth in the rugged foothills of the Kolmia, Kolyma region. Yeah, I, I guess that's what they gotta do. So... I'll mess up. I'm not quite sure what, what else to say from here. Ooh. This would improve our poverty, right? We'll save up to uh, keep doing this. It's not even going to be a massive increase to our debt, so I'll take that. And our poverty is still kind of going down. Our atomic based uh, improvement took a hit, but it's still going up. Soon enough, we'll get uh, out of widespread cronyism back into uh, political interference. 
Bring yourselves to order. The command com commandant shouted over the wind. Dozens of gaunt, contemptible faces stood before him, all in means of state. Vesevislag had no shortage of workers since the triumph of the Vos, and KVD commissioners stood next to the age of monarchists who fought for a false czar. Sabian fanatics shattered their teeth alongside Mikovsky's kosher fascist. Your leaders have led you down a path lighted by the deceitful lanterns of a Zionist. Your cause has been hung upon the gallows of righteousness, and your leaders have been apprehended by in their attempts to undermine the Russian people. Their corpses are food for the worms, as are their most ardent supporters. Remember the cold inflicted upon him here, a distant memory before the collapse. Hours in gold mines or breaking ground for the highways and made him a strong representative of the ideal Russian. Now the burden fall upon his shoulders, transform these failed men into something useful. Some had once served Vavaz loyally until it was discovered they had plotted against him in secret. Now their tattered rags made a poor defense against the Siberian winds. The agents of Jewry would tell you this is a punishment, even a crime, to treat you as we do. But yet that is another of their lies, meant to keep you weak and at their mercy. To have come by adversity, with the whole world against you, that is what it means to be a man of Russia. You have a debt to your people, and you will pay it off here in sweat and toil. Only when the debt is paid will your crimes against the laws be forgiven. So work with all your might, that you might someday receive his forgiveness. Your work shall set you free. So Chutoka, is that one up here? Yeah. Two prisons and two building slots, okay. I guess they need something to employ them over there. Ooh, we could do glory to Russia. That improve. Why did I get rid of this? Why not? God, nation, and labor. These are the three things that our party fights for, and these are the three things that'll make Russia great again. The steps that we have taken here: the intense saturation of fascism with our society, the reformation of the RP's party structure, the beginning of the destruction of our enemies. These things have taken us a few steps close to realizing a complete all-Russian government. Clearly, we're heading for great things under the leadership of the Vols of the Russians. Every house portraits of Brzezewski remind the people of his greatness. Only under him will we be able to regain Russia's lost gl glory and purge our nation of the enemies who have wronged us so. Glory to Russia, glory to God, glory to RFP. And finally, always, glory to our Vols, Konstantin Vladimirovich Brzezewski. Break Yakutsk. I wonder if that's well. I'm gonna save up to get the seventy uh, for the uh, seventy-five power one. Excellent. Botswana is free. We got a couple of these places that are free now. Glory to Russia. I'll remove the rest of the administrative strain on our states. And with that, we can go ahead and I don't know. Um, We'll find them, listen, and catch them. Find them, listen, catch them. These are the three orders going out to the black shirts in the army today. Three orders, six words turtle. That's all they need. Today, Brzezewski announced from a balcony, Brzezewski, with much pomp and circumstance, now finally do something about Russia's Jewish problem. It's mobilize the RFP paramilitary wing of the Black Shirts, which will be supported by the armed forces to begin herding Jews within our borders into ghettos. The ghettos will be cramped, dirty, and very, very visible to remind all those within and without what happens to those who plot the downfall of Russia. If that's how it has to be, I guess that's how we're doing it. If I'm not mistaken, yep, this is going down. Uh, yeah. We don't even have max army expenditure going. Eh, it's not much we can do. I guess I could type in the command. Oh, 
That's weird. I click a I clicked a uh I clicked a Google <laughs> link and it redirected me to a Steam link. That was just a workshop. And it redirected me to another Bing search. That's fucking weird. I'm I'm not doing that anymore. Um, we're just gonna have to wall in our debt. And I guess I could up the GDP. Uh, And what are we gonna do? Just kinda sit back and just let it be for now. I mean, we're just gonna keep increasing our debt anyway, so. Gory was roused from his nap by commotion outside his window. At first so distant that he had thought it part of a dream, the cacophony of voices and disorderly marching grew even louder. He could bear it no more and rose from his armchair with a creak of old bones. Whipping open the curtain of his apartment's sole window, he saw what was unfolding down on the street. A crowd of maybe hundred people were shuffling their way down the street. Some looked far worse than the others. A few dragged large suitcases behind them, but most had nothing save the clothes on their back. Gregory was puzzled for a moment, then he saw the rifle toed in black shoots at their flank, and the pieces fell into place. As the crowd moved on towards a walled ghetto that had been erected over the past several weeks, Gregory sighed and returned to his seat, putting the sorry side behind him. The last time he'd seen persecution in action would be in the name of a czar. Now it was in the name of some voles in an ideology dreamt of by mad German. No matter how far Gregory fled, no, more, no matter how hard he tried or how many Jews he offered shelter, it seemed Russia would never change. He could do not but weep. Oh, well, at least we've got a new economy. With a new Russian state comes a new economy, built upon the lines that brought glory and success to the Nazis in their Halicon days. The all Russian government's economy has already begun to show early successes of the system. We've repurposed our civilian laborers to the military. We streamlined made efficient the rest of our industry, begun the mass corporatization of our society, and started the creation of the first corporations that will lead Russia down the strong and glorious road. A long road ahead of us, but we have laid the foundations for what will become a powerful, influential international economy that will be able to forge a presence, forge Russia a presence of the world stage. For God, nation, and labor. There we go. Um, I want to say my money's on the French resistance winning out here. Not 100% on that by any means, but if I had to guess. You proved 18 years taking it sweet ass time, isn't it? Yeah, these guys are about to take their, uh, Looks like they're either going to get moved out of Sens or they're going to take Paris. They're moving into Versailles right now, anyway. Well, let's do 
strong army. An effective army is a strong army, at least this is what the Vos has exclaimed. The Vos demands that we prove, provide it. A strong army is one that has a strong sword, and for us, that sword is our firearm. A man has one, a weapon that is easy to learn and hard to master. It kicks like a mule and hits worse. But as the years have dragged on, we found that these rifles have become obsolete. The Vos has requested our army have the latest and greatest equipment. This is something that we can do. We'll order our guns to examine a Kalishnikov, which originally came from the far west. They'll break it down to its most basic components and examine what could be improved, what could be bettered, and then and will then recommend what changes they believe to be best. The free all Russian army deserves nothing short of the best weapons and that they shall get. I can see a potential encirclement coming out over here. Do not know though. I think I'll go ahead and break Yakutsk. And I'll increase our GDP at least a little bit, so that means something. Anything to make the big number go up. We'll do the free our Russian Navy. The entirety of the Russian Far East under our command, it's time that we took stock of our naval capacity. Unfortunately, this is no small task. When we were cloistered in Zaya, the free all Russian Navy was little more than a papal naval force. Even now, as we consolidate our hold in the new territory that we have won with no small sacrifice and blood, the wise Vols looks to the ocean to create formerly the new free all Russian Navy. For Navy comes a requirement for ships. With these ships will come the protection of our trade and the beginning of a new Russian dawn in the Pacific. All armies shall tremble in front of the might that shall be the Russian Pacific Fleet. And there we go. Assuming we don't plummet into default between now and then, I'm sure it's should not have opened that when they. Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we're uh, we're kind of fucked economically, aren't we? We got a new generation of rifles, so that's nice. More civilian factories coming along. Afir is pushing into uh, Algeria. That's interesting. Something's going on over here. Let's see. Um, so resources for warships. The Japanese have thus far provided, proved, provided themselves to be helpful if fickle people. Our Navy needs ships, and if Japanese have one thing, it's too many of them. Thus, we look to them, discussing with them the potential for buying some of their ships off of them. The very least, some older models that will assist in the creation of the core all Russian force. Sure, might mean we would have to concede further our access and extraction of Siberia's richness, specifically the tungsten mines and the Japanese corporations have long been eyeing Magadan's hinterlands. However, these concessions will be a small price to pay in return for what we'll get. A vast and comprehensive fleet, the most modern of Japanese ships. You guys tell yourselves whatever you need to. Well... Yeah. South Africa's dying a little bit. Better motorized, why not?
Let's get working on this because we do have some special forces, I guess. Light from darkness. Some more convoys. We gotta do what we can do there, honestly. The Hanover ceremony was short and unmemorable. With speeches by both Japanese and Rodevsky. That five former Imperial Japanese destroyers have been given to three all Russian Navy, increasing their firepower of the Russian arsenal. The offer being accepted by the Japanese shows our growing interest with them and the possibilities of friendship over the horizon. The ships are to be added to a growing Russian fleet and will be some of the most advanced in our navy. While the hulls may be slightly outdated and the ships stripped of their missiles, they are still state-of-the-art compared to the rest of our navy. Better weapons and equipment capabilities far surpass our own designs, and we believe that these ships will continue to be reliable for us for years to come. We thank the Japanese for their generous offer. Not that we have much of a choice, really. Um, I think I'll leave it there, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Like if you liked this video, dislike if you didn't. And comments, feedback, and certainly leave a comment section below. I read all comments and get appreciate any and all feedback you might have for me. Leave any comments you have down in the comment section below. I read all of them and appreciate any and all feedback you might have for me. And, um, yeah, check out my various links down in the description box below as well. That's it for now, my friends. My name has been Mr. Doggo333. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye